presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading and YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. The, awesome. I know quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, and prowling with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great week, folks. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Thanksgiving. Get that turkey and ham going, baby. Don't make assumptions. Ignore the opinions of others. Whatever people do, feel, think, or say, don't take it personally. Others are going to have their own opinion according to their own belief system. So whatever they think about you is not about you, but it's about them. I get, the, I get the, uh, the beginning of it. I don't get the end of it. So whatever they think about you is, whatever they think about you is not about you, it's about them. And I've been reading these cards for a long time, and a few of them are just uh, a little tough to get. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 316, NASDAQ. Down 10, S&P's up 32, gold contract down $46.70, trading at $18.05 an ounce. We had silver down 58 cents, $24.18 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 78 cents, $76.72 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note down 27 ticks, trading 130 flat. The 30-year off a full point and a half at 160.10 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 485 ticks, trading out at 96.516. Euro's at 112. The yen is at 114.93 in the British pound is at 133 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line is that we are at all-time highs. And I expect we're going to be at all-time highs and probably go a little bit higher. So you get the SPY up uh, $3.40 today, 472 Bottom line, the last high was 470.65, and my take is that we're going to stay right up here coming into the close, folks. NDX 100, that's where the volatility has been out here today. You had the Qs uh, have some wide price spread out here. Uh, they opened up at the 405, they ran to 408, and then gave up the ghost. That, be that being said, guess what, man? This is just because the Qs are so high. This also wants higher price, too. That's, that's how this is shaking out, man. Uh, the bottom line is that now what you've done now, so check this out. Now we're broken higher and you get volume behind the move. So, you know, Thanksgiving week, folks, number one, is highly volatile. They can push this market wherever they want to push it. And guess what? People always like pushing it up. There's no, that's, that's my take on it. That's where this thing is going. Gold, gold contract. Now, we have had divergence in the gold market for a good period of time. What the divergence has been is that you've had gold higher, you've had the dollar higher. It's like, okay, man, you know, fundamentally, that is not how the markets work for a long period of time. Today, it's even more bizarre because today you have the, the gold, they smoked the gold down $47. That being said, the equities, you know, depending on what equities you have out there, folks, inside the gold and silver market, um, <laughs> they, they've set up nice very large actually potential abc structures on the way up so the market and you've had just about every single one of them reject lower price and they did it very quickly out here this morning uh pretty wild man i mean if we go over to one of the weaker ones and you're going to see this used to be a nice strong equity bottom line is that it turned into a weaker one that being said this morning you know if you take a look at royal gold real gold that ran down to 103 Rejected, it has lower price. This wants higher price, man. You're down, you're down eight cents. So it's going to get intriguing watching this whole thing shake out. 
Um, as I said a little, little bit earlier on the update, if you look at Anglo Ashante, that looks like a monster ABC structure on the way up, as does GFI. Uh, same type of setup, man. I mean, GFI is positive. An Eco Eagle, which has been weak, that looks like that bottom. Um, if you're interested in the gold market, gold equities, this is the time to get aggressive, folks, because this is telling us something in a, in a monster way. And nothing has changed. We know nothing has changed. You know, the Fed, uh, Powell's going to be the Fed chair the next four years. Brandon's going to be the vice chair. Uh, they didn't put her in charge of supervision, which it's going to be monetary policy. So it's status quo. That's the real, that's the bottom line, status quo. Let's go take a look at the 30-year note, because the 10-year note looks like it's ready to break down. We take a look at this 30-year note. Okay, so the 30-year note is down a point and a half right now. We got 733,000. Now, this is where, you see, what we're going to see here, folks, is this. Okay, so this is coming down in volume two. Now, this is way above the bottom of the consolidation, which is the 157. Whereas the 10-year, okay, this is how this works. The 10-year is down 28 ticks. This looks like it's going to bust through and be an ABC structure on the way down. If it is an ABC structure on the way down, you're going to get, let's see, 130, just about 133. Okay, so it's four points, which gets you uh, 127. That 127 is game here. And what you're seeing, this is, this is what's different now, too, also, folks, inside the note and bond market. The curve is flattening. What that means is specifically is this, is that you have the 10-year that's going down very, very quickly versus the 30, okay, which is not. And so what ends up happening is that you're going to see that basically flatten out. And what that really is saying, okay, is that saying that, yeah, they see the, the short-term rates going up faster than the long-term rates. And when that normally takes place, that's when, whether if that keeps happening, you're going to see in three or four more weeks, you're going to see the aspect that that's when they start saying, okay, then we're going to run into another recession here three or four years, two or three years from now. And that's what you're looking at. So we'll see whether this whole thing does shake out. Bitcoin. Bitcoin is taking a beat out here today. Uh, bottom line is that this looks to me like it's going to 49,000. Uh, this, this, this is what we have out here. You got the... You're, you're at 56,000 right now. Uh, bottom line, 49 is wide open. 40, 49 to 50,000, that's where it broke topside from. Uh, that's where it looks like it wants to go to. So, Will, uh, the last low is the 55,663. Uh, we, we get 200 bucks above that today, and uh, kind of, uh, we're, let's see, five, yeah, we're. 55, well, 400 bucks above it now, but it doesn't look like you're going to get anything there. I expect what you're going to see is that we're going to be down into those lower levels. Some of the higher volume equities out here today, you have uh, Ford Motor Company. That, that's catching a bid. That's about big time. That's up a buck 29. You got uh, Apple up three bucks. Uh, NVIDIA is down three dollars. NVIDIA's had quite a run. I think that ran to like uh, 345. It's at 326 right now. Um, you got uh, Events Micros down 64 cents. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. 
Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 287. Let's go take a look inside the Dow Industrials. So, because what, what, the, what you had is this, folks. The Dow on Friday actually closed inside its lower range. So this is going to be really cool watching how this whole thing shakes out. And what I mean specifically is this. My take is that the Dow is also going to go after its highs again. But if we, as we go after the highs, if in fact, number one, first you do it, and then number two, if you reject it at the highs, that would tell me that, okay, now you're going to finally get something. Uh, thus far, you're, you're going to see that what we had out here on Friday is this. Friday, the Dow Industrials, we closed out at, uh, what, 35,601 and 35,000, uh, basically 630, get you in the lower range. You can see how quick it said, oh, no, 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 I don't want to be here, okay? That, so now let's go inside the Dow Industrials and see what's moving the Dow Industrials into higher price out here today. You get Goldman putting down 85 positive points. Goldman's the big one. Travelers, 33. JP Morgan, 31. Caterpillar, 23. Taken away from it. Visa, 25. Boeing, 20. Now, let's get over to the note and bond market because now when you do to take a look at the note and bond market, we go to the banks, you get JP Morgan up four bucks right now. Um, this came back to the lower end of its consolidation on Friday. You did it. Now, Friday, it had not rejected. Let's see. Did it close above 160.06? Oh, look at this. Unreal. So it did close. It, it went down to its lowest swing point where it had 15 million shares. We did 8. No, we did 12.1. You rejected lower price. Now the bottom line is that that can go to the top of its range. Uh, you don't have a lot of volume out there, but right now it can go to the top of the range. We go to ba Bank of America. We take a look at Bank of America. Same type of setup. Bank of America is actually a better setup than uh, J.P. Morgan. Bank of America was pulling back to its breakout area. You did that with uh, 48 million shares versus 82, you know. So let's go to the XLF because what you're going to have here now, uh, well, I think what the market is looking at for sure is that if we go to the XLF, you're going to see the XLF. That came down 71 million. So now this is his divergence. Interesting. So the XLF came down with volume. Now we're going up with volume, too. So I suspect, number one, you're going to hit the highs. The real question is, when it gets up at those highs, will it have volume or will it die in the vine as it's getting up to, up to that level? Um, you know, that's, that's really what we're, what we're going to be looking at here. What I suspect, Fed-wise, what you're going to have, uh, Powell 
bottom line next four years, branded next four years. Uh, there's going to be three more picks, but, you know, it's telling me that whatever guidance the Fed has been giving, pay attention to it, folks, okay? Because you're going to have plenty of people out there turning around saying, okay, we're going to go up in rates faster and all of this. Um, you know, I, I suspect that they, they're still going to have a hard time, <laughs> and God bless Powell, man, because that's the any of those positions right now is not the position you want to be in when inflation's raging. And guess what? You know, there's going to be a million games that are played out here, and none of them are going to work because once it's into the system, which it is, we're going to see it for quite some time. Uh, we just had the uh, DeSantis, the governor of um, Florida, uh, turn around and say that he's going to ask lawmakers to zero out the state gas, that gas tax. Um, and that tax is uh, approximately 25 cents uh, a gallon. I see. Let's see. Okay, so he has a plan that would zero it out. The bottom line is that you're going to see a huge amount of uh, folks trying to do something, and a lot of it uh, is going to be politics. This is, de this is definitely politics, because what you had here is, in this particular case, right, he's pushing this into January, and he had already called back the legislature. So if he wanted to do it, he could have done it uh, basically last week. And now they're gone again. So... Uh, you'll, you'll, this is going to be a battle for everyone. I mean, it's going to be a battle. Uh, you know, we will see where the rest of it sh shakes out. My take is that it's in the system. It's in the economy. You're up to a whole nother level uh, spending-wise, and it's going to be here for quite some time. That's the real bottom line. You know, it doesn't mean that it has to go up 20 25%. Um, they're, they're saying it's at 6 Depends what you're buying, man. I mean, that's, that's the bottom line. It really depends what you're buying. Let's go take a look at that oil market. So you have a coordinated deal, meaning that we have the U.S., you have Europe, you have Japan saying, it, and even you know, that, okay, we're going to release some oil. Uh, bottom line, folks, uh, is that on the other side of that here, one second, I got to get this, CLF, right? Okay, so if we get this up, you're going to see oil went to 74 bucks. It rejected lower price. You're at uh, 76 right now, and I believe when everyone, when these countries were coming out, yeah, here it is. Let's see what they when the countries were coming out. OPEC come out with their own deal. OPEC officials warned that they're likely to respond to plans by the world's largest oil consumers to release oil from their strategic stockpiles, setting up a fight for control of the global energy market. Uh, Biden said he's set to announce. A plan to release reserves on Tuesday in tandem with China, India, Japan, and South Korea. The fight is on, Fig, folks. <laughs> um, you know, we'll, we'll see where this baby shakes out. Um, you know, whether they can break that back uh, inside the oil market. When I look at the, uh, when I look at the chart, that oil still wants higher price. There's a question there about, uh, yeah, Florida's going to, uh, it's going to be $1 billion. Would it, I, I can't wait to hear how this spin goes, because the governor's saying that, no, we don't need the money in Florida. Um, and I suspect that no states need any money right now, folks, okay, because the amount of money that's coming in through the feds is huge. So they, there's going to be a lot of things that they can do, um, and I suspect other states, uh, you know, they, they got to distribute that money somewhere. And there's going to be a, there's, there is a lot of it. There's a lot more that's going into the states. And we'll see where they're going to spend it. It's still a distribution of uh, funds. There's no two ways about that. Uh, and we'll, the uh, Amazon. Let's go take a look at the big dog out here. We're coming up to the holidays. Uh, Amazon had been lagging. Uh, bottom line is that it shot up like a little rocket ship. Almost hit the highs. I think the highs are at that 3773, and we hit 3772. That being said, guess what? You can follow him up there, man. So um, let's go. This is going to be good. Right, let's go. Let's go to Peter in Park City. Peter, what's going on, brother? <laughs> man, not much, Tommy. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? <laughs> good. Hey, I had, I had one for you. You'll like this one. So you're, you know, you're, we're seeing inflation everywhere, right? Yes. Um, and you've done a lot in the housing business, obviously. Uh, State of Utah, the largest supplier of both sheet metal and hardy plank siding, okay. have announced that they are raising rates 
on Hardy at 25% yeah. uh, effective uh, effective January 1 and 30 to 35% on any sheet metal product, whether roofing, gutters, etc. cetera. Um, and if your order, your orders for especially Hardy have to be in by December 15th to keep the current rates. So it's like, you know, the price of hard goods, like you've been saying forever, you know, they're, they're going higher. They are. Yeah, stay right there. We're talking inflation, yep. folks. You get any call, uh, if, questions, folks, give us a buzz. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We're talking with Peter, Peter from Park City. And uh, we're going to be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 263. Nasdaq's off 46. S&Ps are up 23. We're talking with Peter from Park City, and we are talking about what's happening with the economy and with prices. Um, Peter, at the beginning of that conversation, I just didn't hear what you said. I know the state of Utah, did you, did you say that Heidi Wood sent a, a form out that as of, uh, what, January 1st, Hardy Board is going up 23 to 30 percent? 20, 25 to 30, depending upon the product. Okay. Starting, starting the first, and it's, it's coming from the largest uh, distributor of, of Hardy in the state of Utah. Right. Uh, so I'm sure everybody, uh, you know, everyone that distributes is going to have that. And, you know, it's, it's basically, if you don't have your order placed by December 15th, they won't guarantee this year's pricing. Yeah. It's, it, I'll tell you, folks, uh, it's everywhere, man. 
And if you don't know what Hardy Board is, folks, it's beautiful. It's if you've seen that when they do sides of buildings, um, it's it's made of a it's like a, a cement. Um, exactly. Yeah. It's a, it's a it's a beautiful product. Uh, yeah, I listen, man. I've seen the same thing. I've seen the aspect of uh, you know that's why I keep bringing up this twenty three to thirty percent. And and what has happened, I would say, what happens with inflation, folks, is this: is that when you see it. Then it's all our perceptions. So then it decides what you're going to do about it. And it's each one of our perceptions that has this thing accelerate on the way up. And I can tell you flat out, in my individual case, I saw it. I accelerated everything on the way up because it's like, OK, man, it's here. And you, you, what you try to do is you try to be ahead of the game. That's the that's the bottom line. It's all you can do. You know, if you. If you're wrong, then you're not going to sell anything because you raise your prices too much. If you're right, guess what? You're not going to basically lose money. And at the beginning, you'll actually, there'll be a little bit better spread at the beginning. But, you know, yeah, this no, is. It's very true. The, uh, I mean, it's incredible here. I mean, the, you know, properties that are, you know, total, you know, crap are being bought up as, you know, if they're awesome. Because uh, we're getting like a huge influx of people just, you know, coming out of California Sure. Um, and, they, you know, they sell their place there. They show up here with cash and just drive drive the prices just up unbelievably. Plus, there's a huge Silicon Valley forming here, kind of the just west of Provo and BYU. And yeah. the, the Lehigh Corridor is kind of like now becoming like what, you know, you see in the suburbs of Boston when you were there. You know, right. Just starting to build Amazing. And, you know, yeah. folks, something that you want to take into consideration, no matter where you live in the country. So, picture as Peter and I are talking, this is what you really want to wrap your head around. At first, Peter, when I saw this price expansion, I'm saying to myself, this is crazy because we get it down in here, too. Then once I actually start, start seeing that every piece of a house, though, is going up 23 to 30 percent. What has happened, folks, is this is that if you're walking into a house and you're looking for a house, right, really pay attention to. Um, the inners of the house, the pool, yeah. the appliances, because all of those stuff, there's, there's pl even though prices have gone up, there's still plenty of people that really just don't understand how much they've gone up. And so you might get something less than a replacement cost. <laughs> That's, you know, it is what it is, man. Yeah. You know, so no, you're, you're, you're so right. And, and the reality is, uh, even just with whether it's lumber costs, plumbing costs, etc., yes. you can find a house that's total crap. And, but yet the foundation and the guts and the, you know, the framing, et cetera, right. the roof are worth so much more than it would cost to build from scratch that you take something like that that looks like it's a dog and, you know, its value is actually higher than you could ever imagine. Yes. No, I, I it's, it, there's, you know, they always say, folks, in a crisis, you get an opportunity, but I really believe that that is there. I mean, I know it's there because that's all, you know, that's all I do, basically. <laughs> um, I know, and it's a little crazy to get your head wrapped around that concept. It is. But, it, it but is. It, it's everything that goes into building a house right now is going extremely up. And if you find an, an older house that's already been built, you know, even if you put money into it, you're, you're starting at such a good, good you are. spot. You are. And that's even before you start with the cruise, folks. OK, so, you know, you know, I, it's, I can't wait to see. It looks to me like I was I was going to just say to you, Peter, I can't wait to see what the politicians say about it. But I kind of answered my own question when I was, when I was getting the question in my head, because I know what they're going to say. They're all going to say that. No, it's still transitory. I, mean, I guess they're going to have to change at some point. But who knows when? Oh, it'll be, yeah, you know, hopefully we're still alive by then. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, man, you have All a great, right, have thanks, a great one to say for You too. Thanks, man. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at Apple, man. Apple, uh, you know, bottom line, uh, you know, not only went higher. Okay, App Apple announces last week that uh, they expect to have, uh, you know, a, a, well, a self-driving car within three to four years, right? And if you haven't listened to my son Tommy's show, folks, in the morning, you got to listen to it, man. I mean, he has a phenomenal show. He's phenomenal in technicals. He has fundamentals down beyond belief, okay? And he brought up something. I thought this was, I'm sitting there, like, having breakfast in the morning, listening to the show. And it was like, and this is where you absolutely want to trust yourself, okay? 
and thinking where you're going to invest and what people say sometimes, okay? So Apple comes out with this deal, okay, they're going to have self-driving cars three to four years. And if you have an Apple phone, folks, what he was talking about is that call, you know, speak into an Apple phone, speak into Siri. Hey, Siri, do something. My phone will probably do it right now. And the bottom line is that when you do that, they can't even get that right. So there's no way, all he was bringing up, there is no way, okay, that the, that, this is my take. There's no way that Apple can get a self-driving car in three to four years. I mean, it's pretty simple. If they can get a self-driving car, well, guess what? We should be doing a lot. This shouldn't be one mistake on an Apple phone. And guess what? We, we, know, we know it is. There, there's, no, there's no doubt about that. Um, that. That being said, guess what? You know, Apple ran up to 165 today. Uh, has volume behind the move. And let's take a look at this and put this on a weekly. So on a weekly, has, okay, so on a weekly you got, yeah, you got an ABC up, man. 157, let's see how this shakes out. 22, 32, 34. That's 60, that's 72. Oh, I see what's going on. Oh, well, it, well, it went to 165. Uh, it's 172 that the A to B equals a C to D, you know, so. Uh, what, I, what I expect you're probably going to see, um, I would be very careful, folks, this week moving in, in this market at all. We are going to see volatility continue up, high volatility. Uh, on Friday, uh, they are going to push this market in a monster way, and I, I expect they're going to push it up, by the way. Okay, That's, what, that's, that's kind of the MO uh, in general, okay? Uh, you know, so... Uh, XAU and the HUI. Let's go take a look at both of those since the gold contract's down so bad. Uh, XAU, it hit 132 today. It's traded at 135.73. That rejected lower price down at those lower levels, as did the Gold Bugs Index. Gold Bugs Index hit uh, 258. You're at 263. These, uh, let's see. That might have retraced too much for an ABC up, but it might have not either. I think it might be, that almost looks like about a 50% retracement. Well, no, it's, oh, look at that. It's exactly, that's crazy, man. It's exactly a 0.618 retracement, folks. So it can be an ABC app. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Call, call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 231. Nasdaq's down 76. S&Ps are, uh, are up 16. Let's go take a look at Taseco, TGB. Uh, the low for the year in this, folks, is 81 cents. The high is 216. Now, this is a, a very large copper company. Uh, bottom line, they're taking uh, 331 million on copper. Mobileen, 18 million. And gold, uh, 3.5 million. Uh, you had a rejection of lower price out here at 201 today. Uh, you had already backed in, if you want to see how this shakes out. So picture this, folks. You, you, you had, let's see, so we're going into 2.3 million shares. You're going into 3 million shares, and on Friday you did 1.4. Now you get volume behind the move again. That's saying it's going to go to the top of the consolidation once again. Any of you folks that own gold, any of the actual commodity equities, or when I say commodity equities, I'm talking the metal equities, my take is that they're all going back to the top of the consolidation. That's how they seem to be sh shaken out. This, this one, this one, same deal. Uh, and they're, they're look, they're, it's almost everywhere you look. Like if we go to an Eco Eagle, you go over an Eco Eagle, that rejected lower price at uh, 52.33. And this is, a, this is a weak one, okay? But I suspect that's still going to go back to this uh, 56 area. Uh, Freeport Mac Moran, that baby out here, that had only pulled back slightly, but it pulled back to the bottom of its, its range. Rejected lower price. That wants higher price. We go take a look at uh, Barrick Gold. We'll do a look at Barrick, and we'll look at uh, Newmont. Barrick Gold came down, filled its gap, rejected $20 in, uh, I mean, uh, 1953. Um, that hasn't really moved out of that. It's 1981 right now. Uh, Newmont. We take a look at Newmont, and Newmont is the largest weighting structure and actually has been weak. Uh, Newmont's down 74 cents. So Newmont's coming into, let's see, 6.8 million to get 4.1. We'll see whether it can get any juice uh, on the way up. It's pretty intriguing out here, though, uh, big time, folks, in, in, the, in the context of uh, how far gold is actually down. Well, yeah, let's go look, look at the gold market and see. Uh, it certainly did not catch a bid at all today. It was a one-way route. Uh, from the, the price point of uh, 1850 today to 1805, you had monster volume, 3.1 million contracts thus far. Uh, now, you haven't basically broken a swing, but the, the first swing, the, the top of the swing is uh, 1789. The bottom of the swing is uh, 1755. I suspect we'll get, we'll get to the 1789. That's how this normally shakes out. You normally don't get something like this for one day, but you know we'll find out. The, the, the difference in the divergence is pretty extensive. Uh, GDX, yeah, if we take a look at the GDX, what you have with the GDX, now, the GDX also basically needs some juice. And what that's about is this. Barrick Gold and Newmont are the two largest weighting structures inside the GDX, and the, both of those are some of the weakest stocks inside of the metals market. That's what, that's what you're looking at. That being said, um, you know, the bottom line, we were at, uh, you got down to 32.55. We're going to have volume, let's see, you got a volume of 24 million, you're going into basically 23 million. So this low will at least get tested. And then if I take, if you take a look at this weighting structure, and it's all about this weighting structure inside of the GDX. And what you're going to see 
Newmont and Barrick, uh, 24%. And those are the two weakest stocks. And Franco Nevada, that's a, that's a good one. Uh, Wheaton Precious Metals is cool. Anico Eagles, weak. See, this is, this is where this really gets interesting, folks, that you really have to understand what's inside of the GDX. Um, because as you get down here, gold fields are strong. Uh, Anglo Ashanti is strong. I'll bring up Northern Star. I haven't done New Crest. That's an Australian stock. I haven't looked at that for a while. Um, wheat and precious metals. That's a large silver broker. Um, you know, and, and now I I have I own folks in the gold report. We we own uh, gold fields as well as uh, Anglo Ashanti. Uh, this, look how strong this is, man. This is like insane. I, let me tell you something. You know, as all of us, we were front, in front of these screens. When I saw gold going down $40, I'm saying to myself, oh, man, this, this is going to get, I'm going to take a whip in here in a, in a huge way. Bottom line is that's not, not even close. So there's, there's buyers and there's large buyers inside of this market. In fact, let me do this. Because I suspect... If we don't see it right now, in a couple days when I bring up these uh, inside transactions, the 13F transactions, I suspect we're going to see someone big in here because you can't hold price. It's very unusual. Let's put it this way. It's very unusual to hold price when you have something that's this dramatic. Okay, so this one here. Now, this is the first. So GFI on the end of October, SCI Investments, they're buying. They bought 520000 That's the only one out there, though. Well, when I say it's the only one out there, it's the only one out there that um, has filed thus far. We bring up uh, Anglo Ashanti. Same setup, man. They're either doing a good job of uh, hiding where they're going with this. Uh, let me see it this way. So what does happen, this is what's kind of interesting, too. Um, yeah, they're not coming to the option market. I just brought up the options through GFI. So, Because what, what does happen, folks, is this, is that when, when larger players come into the market, they do not have to uh, disclose their option position inside of the position uh, that they have. Now, what... I would say is that if a Fidelity is doing that or big funds doing that, you'd see them disclose it. Uh, I'm talking about uh, private equity funds, large hedge funds. Um, you know, they just don't do it. NQs. Let's go take a look at the NQs. They look like they want to close at the uh, lower end of this market. They hit 16,455 earlier. And yeah, they're going after that. So they're going after that. That's a, that's a high volume low anyway. Uh, on the 10-minute, yeah, they're going after that baby. And if we take a look at this and keep it, so inside the NDX, you're going to see the strength. Moderna is the strength. That's up seven and a half percent. Pace cars up three percent. Cisco's up 2.8. Cisco had got smoked before. Uh, Peloton is down 6.5%. CrowdStrike down 6%. You got uh, OKTA down 6% also. Let's go see what Peloton is. So Peloton's trading $44.11. Oh, man. Some of these stocks, man. I just, you know, when things are up, folks, you got to take it. I mean, it's hard to comprehend that Peloton has gone from $166 down to $44. Um, and then there's a question. We have a question. Uh, is that okay? Can the Nasdaq and, and SPX end up being a failure on price and volume with the sell-off into the close? Um, yeah, it can. Uh, well, the, the spy does not look like it's going to be at all. You know, you're actually going to have higher price than the last high. Uh, let's see. NASDAQ and the, the three Qs. I suspect what we're going to see here is this. The three Qs, that's a higher high with volume. Yeah, you can pull back a little bit. I suspect these highs will get tested again. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. 
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 100. Nasdaq's down 156. S&Ps are off 2.5. You get some red out here. Let's go over to that Nasdaq Composite Index. We look at the Composite. Composite got to a price point today of uh, 16212 And the bottom line, you're 300 points off of that. So uh, next move here, you get uh, 867. So 867, well, the, when we came down, uh, what was it, a week and a half ago, we got down to this... Uh, 15,543. You know, we'll see if that is going to dig into that. It would have to first get into this 867, which is 20 points lower than where it where it has been. Um, the volatility is coming in. There's no doubt about it. Now, what we'll also have tonight is this. You got a picture of how many stories are going to be written between tonight and tomorrow morning that will affect the marketplace about the Fed, about Powell, about Brainerd, uh, where they think this whole thing is going. Because I would say something that is on the table is that when you just get uh, up another four years, Powell doesn't have to worry about getting up right now. He doesn't have to worry about anything, actually. Uh, so if he was going to do something, meaning that if he was going to accelerate raising rates, I think we'd hear about it in the next week, week and a half. And if he, if he felt that the aspect that he was wrong in the transitory, I think we might hear that also. What we've still heard, what I've heard all day, listening to Bloomberg and bringing a whole bunch of you know pundits on, is that basically uh, most of the economists right now, 
that, and this would, this is political too, for sure, because it seems like if they, if they, if they, if they worked for Democrats before as an economist, uh, they're still in the uh, transient case, even though Powell is a Republican, <laughs> okay? And he's staying clean on that, which is really cool. I mean, and, and he doesn't talk like Greenspan, which is great. Uh, but I expect if we see something, we're gonna see something pr probably pretty quickly. Uh, because he's secure, man. They're all secure. So if you're going to do something, man, pull that switch. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever your focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Everything you need is right inside you, folks. Grab it. Have a blast with it. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Look at him, folks. Building wealth.